love this one. I can talk about this Greater Baltimore suburb morning and night. This suburb, they think that they're their own utopia. And you know what? I absolutely agree. Join me on the other side and I will share with you one of my favorite suburbs of the Greater Baltimore area. Let's go. If we have not met, my name is Mark. In fact, it's Mark A. Ritter. My friends call me Marky Mark. Marky Mark. They call me Mark. They call me Mr. Mark. They call me Mr. Ritter. Whatever you prefer. Today, I got five reasons why you should consider moving to, ready? You ready? Annapolis. One of the top five best suburbs according to Movado.com. Number three on the list, it's always about the money. And number five, exactly why I, me, me, myself, and I, and my family, we're heading there. Without further ado, let's talk. First and foremost, Annapolis is located southeast from Baltimore. It's right, right on the Chesapeake Bay, Severn River, South River, all leads into the Chesapeake Bay, Anne Arundel County. And it is absolutely, boom, gorgeous, beautiful. It's the waterfront, water lifestyle to the 10th degree. It's peaceful. It has serenity. It has sailing, boating, fishing, crabbing, relaxing, tranquility. If I didn't say it, I'll say it again. It's the state capital of Maryland. It's home to St. John's College and of course the United States Naval Academy. Love this about Annapolis. It's only 30 minutes from Baltimore and it's 30 minutes from BWI Airport, which is the Baltimore Washington International Airport Thoroughgood Marshall. Probably didn't put all the words together. That's what it is. 45 minutes from the free capital of the world, Washington, D.C. 20 minutes from the Eastern Shore and two hours from the ocean, the beach. Love that. Uh, the number one reason, and look, these are not in any particular order for moving to Annapolis. And of course, this is all about Movado.com. I'm not steering you. It's because it, ha it has that small town feel. Annapolis definitely has that utopia feel because you're tucked away, but access to everything else in the world. Easy access out to Route 50, the main, the main highway that takes you east to west, leading to D.C. and splits off towards Baltimore or whatever direction you're going. The city area is quaint, tons of shops, restaurants, tons of history, state capital, as I mentioned. It was also, a lot of people don't realize this, it was the nation's capital at one point or another. Most of the buildings throughout the Annapolis area are no larger than three stories high, so you don't have all that congested skyline, so it's, it's nice. Uh, no hustle and bustle, and you would think, being that it's a college town to some degree, with St. John's College and, of course, uh, you, know, you know, the Naval Academy, it had that college town craziest. None of that. They don't put up with none of that in uh, Annapolis. The Chesapeake Bay... It just sets the tone for that warm feeling and that small town community. And it's just, ugh, love it. Number two on the list of why you should consider moving to Annapolis or relocating to one of their neighborhoods. Ugh, please, it's because of neighborhoods, uh, townhomes, condos, single family homes, huge estates along the Severn River, South River. I'm telling you, it'll blow you away. $200,000 condos out to a million dollar estates right on the Severn River, right on the South River, which of course dumps into the Chesapeake Bay. Here, let me go through a few standout communities. And again, I'm not steering you. These are listed by Movado.com. I don't do that. Eastport, woo! Love, 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 love Eastport. It's walkable. Everything's right there contained. It's, everything's at your disposal. It's super quaint. Average home price is $650,000 and up. It's one of the best communities in Annapolis area for boating, and you're only minutes away from the city dock area, the shops, and all the things that are happening in the Annapolis area. Arundel on the Bay, whoo, love that one too. Arundel on the Bay is located about two miles from the state capital, located right on a peninsula. You got Fishing Creek on one side, we got Chesapeake Bay on the other. There's approximately about 345 homes, single family homes predominantly, that average anywhere from 450 to a million dollars. They got a private beach, private boat, uh, boat ramp, couldn't get that out, playgrounds on the water. Residents have unrestricted access to canoes and kayaks, so check that out, love that area. Admiral's View, that's another one. Admiral's View, it consistently is made up of townhomes, it's located in a water preserve. You're minutes from downtown Annapolis, 2,000 square foot home, you know, three bedroom, two full bath, 350 to 400,000, that's affordable. City dock area is only a short drive away. The next one, the fourth one on the list, Hillsmere Shores. I've had several clients buy in Hillsmere and they love it. Uh, it's right where the South River meets the Chesapeake Bay. Approximately 1,200 1, homes in the community. What I love about Hillsmere is that it abuts 
uh, Quiet Waters Park, which is 340 acres of trails and open space right along the water, $475,000 or well over a million dollars. It's, it's right on a peninsula. Private marina, kayaks to launch, uh, and launch area, and of course you got a private beach. So stay tuned now. We're gonna get out there in the next day or so to do my vlogging, as I call it. Sorry, it's my style. I know it's vlogging, but I just call it vlogging. Uh, it's a whole thing. I don't know. Whatever. So you know, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you, and I love it. We love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or ninety days or nine months, whatever, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Buying a home. Buying a home is the biggest investment you will ever make in your life. And we got you covered. I told you, number three on the list is always, 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 always about the money. And the greater Baltimore area has a massive, massive job market, as does Annapolis. It's crazy. Opportunities are everywhere from an employment standpoint or from an entrepreneurial standpoint. Massive job market in the Annapolis area. Maryland's unemployment rate, check this out, blows me away. The unemployment rate today as it stands is 1.7%. How about zero? zero? Zero. The national average is 3.9% unemployment. Again, an incredible, incredible job market in Indianapolis, greater Baltimore area, which leads into D.C. also. You want a job? You're hired. Hire. Hire. You want a job in government? You have Anne Arundel uh, County jobs. You have state of Maryland, state capital of Maryland right in Indianapolis. Tons of jobs all through the, uh, as far as the state of Maryland jobs. Federal government jobs. 45 minutes away in D.C., you have NSA in Fort Meade, U.S. Cyber Command Center over um, about 45 minutes away. Uh, Cybersecurity firms are all through that Howard County and the Baltimore area. The Baltimore Peninsula uh, is being labeled as the Silicon Valley of the East Coast with all the different cybersecurity firms close to the airport, close to D.C., Tenable. In Columbia, Howard County, it's the number five, top five for lar largest cybersecurity firms in the world. Defense contracts all through that area because, again, right near D.C., you want to get a job in healthcare, you want to be a nurse, Anne Arundel Medical Center, MedStar Health Center, uh, you got Lorian Health, you got Johns Hopkins Medical, you got Howard County uh, Medical Center, part of the Johns Hopkins family, Johns Hopkins, world famous in Baltimore, 45 minutes away. Boom. You want a job in education? U.S. Naval Academy, St. John's College, all University of Maryland, all the colleges through Baltimore, and how about all the private schools and public schools of Anne Arundel County and leading into Baltimore and Howard County? Boom. Maritime industry. You got the Port of Baltimore. You got Airing, transportation engineering firm. You, you tell me. Design your job and just go get it. The average annual salary in Annapolis is $84,000. $84,000. And the combined household income in Annapolis is 100 to 150 thousand, according to Travel Safe Abroad. I'm telling you, the job market here in the Greater Baltimore area and in Annapolis, it's massive. Mass, mass. I'm telling you, it's for real. Number one goal. Number one goal is to showcase every inch of Baltimore and the Greater Baltimore area through our videos, so you, you have a complete understanding of the best area that fits your lifestyle. It's about you. If you're moving about or relocating to Baltimore, Maryland, or the Baltimore suburbs, then subscribe. Tap the bell so you're the first to know about the current market here in Baltimore. Look, it's no different than any other area across this country, and it's changing all the time. Number four on the list of why you should consider moving to Annapolis. I'm not steering you. Stop it. Please. Movado.com. It's the dynamite cuisine. Cuisine. How about food? Because the dynamite food. Annapolis is located right on the Chesapeake. We talked about that. So what's that mean? Crabs. Crabs, 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 crab, crab cakes, crab balls, hot steam crabs, crab all gratin, love that. Soft shell crab sandwiches, yup, don't do that. Crab soup, crab macaroni, crab salad, crab imperial. You feel me? <laughs> we got crabs. Annapolis has some of the best seafood in the entire world with the blue crabs. We talked about that. Rockfish, ah, oh, unbelievable. You take the rockfish, you put the put the crab on top, send you to the moon. Uh, you have oysters and clams. Annapolis area has great pizza joints and taco and barbecue, crab houses, whatever you desire. Annapolis has it and then some. Look, my apologies, but I'm not going to take you on this gastronomic tour of all the different restaurants. I'm a realtor, okay? I'm here to guide you and give you information, but I, it is what it is. Whatever you want in Annapolis, they got dynamite food and you have access to unbelievable restaurants. So, it's all about the seafood, though. And guess what? It's about the crabs. Besides the other four reasons as to why you should consider a move to Annapolis, 
Number five is sends me. Look, it's all about the water. Look, I mean, yes, and I say water. I'm from Baltimore. I'm going to say water, 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 water all day long. It's all about the Chesapeake Bay. It's all about the Severn River. It's all about the South River. You know, it just, when I'm around the water, it just sends me, it relaxes me. It settles my arse down. <laughs> you have no idea. Not because, again, it's all about that waterfront lifestyle. You're tucked away in a quaint community. You have unbelievable access and options from a job standpoint. You have just the lifestyle. If you're active young adult or you're an active adult and you just want a place along the water for golfing or fishing or crabbing or hunting or whatever you want to do, there's spectacular waterfront in the Annapolis area. Phenomenal views, easy access, easy access to the water. And there's this outdoor splendor you're just surrounded by. Sailing capital of the world, that's Annapolis. You know, since I'm a man of absolutely zero, zero extracurricular activities besides work, 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 work. Look, but I love it. You know, my, I plan on in 2024, you we got to hold me to it. 2024, I'm going to Annapolis Sailing School and I'm going to learn how to sail. <laughs> how about that? Anyway, even better about living in Annapolis is you're 20 minutes from the Eastern Shore. The Eastern Shore, St. Michael's, Kenton Harris, Chestertown, it will take you away. It's just another step down from Annapolis just to bring yourself down and just to really soak in life. And you're two hours from the beach. You're two hours from the ocean. Oh, I love that. Two hours? I always think that if I'm an hour away from the beach, I'm already at the beach. But Rehoboth, Ocean City, Bethany, it's all at your disposal. I'm telling you, that's where I'm going. I'm heading to Annapolis. My wife, green lights at, I'm heading there. I'm telling you, all day long. Jeez, please. If the water's not your thing, not a problem. Check out my next video for the top five best places to live in Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore and the greater Baltimore suburbs, it got so many different contrasts. You can go to Carroll County and live in the country. You want acres? Go to Carroll County. You want acres? Go to Hartford County. You want to be between D.C. and Baltimore? Go to Howard County. You want the, the water lifestyle? Please. You go down to Anne Arundel County and Annapolis. You want to be suburban, urban, close to Baltimore, close to everything? You go to Baltimore County. We got it all. That's why I love. Love you, Baltimore. Love you.